everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marissa, and on this channel, I share content about creative journaling, memory keeping, travel journaling, and junk journaling. Since the holiday season is approaching, I thought I'd share a simple holiday theme memory keeping spread to get us in the festive spirit. Today, I'm documenting a cozy breakfast and cats a date with my soul sister. I hope this inspires you to capture your special moments too. These are the supplies I'm planning to use for today's journaling session. Along with the photos of the food and drinks we enjoyed, I'm including some meaningful ephemera like the Starbucks paper cup sleeve and the gift tags from my friend's Christmas gifts. Little touches like these add a personal layer to the page making it more than just a visual memory. It feels like a little time capsule of the day. Using the gift tags as part of this memory keeping spread helps me remember our gift exchange and the thoughtfulness that went into it. It's also a fun way to get creative with textures on the page, so if you have things like receipts, tags, and other little keepsakes, definitely consider adding them to your spread. When working on spreads like this, I like to mix photos with ephemera for a more dynamic look. It's a great way to keep the page balanced and, and visually interesting. By the way, if you want to know how I create and print tiny photos for my journal, just check out the video, How to Create and Print Mini Photos for Memory Keeping, Scrapbooking, and Travel Journals. I'll put the link on the description box below. This gift tag has illustrations of Christmas tree ornaments, so I'm planning to cut out a few of those to use as a decorative elements on the page. The Starbucks cup sleeve is quite thick so to avoid extra bulk, I'm carefully peeled off the back layer. This way, I can keep it in my journal without adding too much weight or bulk, which is really helpful for preserving the look and feel of the page. Now I'm building a little collage using a photo of my breakfast at Starbucks. The trimmed down cup sleeve and the cut out Christmas ornaments. Collages are a great way to blend photos and ephemera in a way that feels cohesive and tells a story on the page. Layering different elements like photos and ephemera adds dimension to the spread, but remember to check the thickness if you want to keep your journal relatively flat. I noticed the share the joy text on the Starbucks leaf and I thought it would make a nice addition to the spread. Little bits of text like this add extra personality and capture the spirit of the day. I love how it ties into the Christmas theme and the joy of sharing these moments with friends. When you're working with a theme, it's helpful to add embellishments that complement it. Here, I'm using holiday theme washi tape to bring in more Christmas vibes. Journey like this lets me relieve the day in a really special way, combining photos, personal items like the cup sleeve, and little festive touches on the page makes the memories feel more vivid and lasting. It's like a snapshot of the holiday season I can always come back to and enjoy. Looking at this spread, I felt there was something missing in the share the joy element. 
since it's printed on craft paper, I thought it could use a pop of color to stand out. Adding a layer of green pattern paper behind it would create a nice contrast and bring out a festive touch. This green paper is actually packaging from Scribe, which is a stationary shop here in Manila. I kept it to recycle for projects like this. Using recycled materials is not only eco-friendly, but also adds unique textures and colors that you won't find in store-bought supplies. It's a great way to personalize your journal and repurpose items you already have. Next, let's add the date. I'm recreating this creative date doodle style that I used in previous journal entry to keep the design consistent across my pages. Consistency with date styles is a small touch, but it really helps tie the pages together and gives the journal a cohesive look. Here, I'm drawing a small location icon next to each photo and planning to write the names of the places beside each icon. Using a green marker for the lettering and drawing a box around it will help it stand out from the rest of the text, making it easy to spot where each memory took place. So as a journaling tip, adding icons like location markers next to photos is a fun way to organize information on the page. Not only does it make the spread look more dynamic, but it also adds a storytelling element. You could use different icons for different types of entries like a coffee cup for cafes or a fork and knife for restaurants. Before I start writing my journal entry, I'm adding some lines to the page similar to the ones I added in our previous journal entry to create a neat ruled notebook effect. Now that we've finished decorating the page, it's time to write about what happened that day. This part is all about capturing the details, feelings, and little moments that made that day special. When I write, I like to start with the big highlights, where we went, what we ate, and any memorable conversations. Then I move on to the smaller elements like the ambience in the mall we went to. These little notes bring the story to life and make it feel more personal when I look back at it later. For me, journaling isn't just about remembering what we did. It's about capturing the emotions and moments that make each experience unique. Writing down how I felt that day, whether it was excitement, coziness, or nostalgia, helps me relive the memory in a much richer way. Even small moments like a breakfast with friends feel more meaningful when I take the time to reflect and put it all into words. Thanks so much for joining me in today's holiday theme journey session. I hope this inspired you to document your own cozy moments with friends and family. Before you go, I'd love to hear, what holiday tradition or event are you most excited to document in your journal this year? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for more ideas, don't forget to check out my memory keeping and traveler's notebook playlist for more creative spreads and journaling inspiration. Happy journaling and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!